Hi, you're on Bible Answers. Hello? Hi, yes. Hey, how are you? Good, yourself? Good. Good. Um, I just had the question. Um, I was doing some research last last night on the actual picture of Jesus Christ on, on, on how he on how he looked. And I found out that I just want your I just want your take on this. Um I found out that uh, he didn't he did not have long hair. Um I found out that like the Jews back in those days, um, they didn't have they didn't have long hair, so uh, he would have been born and raised with short hair, but he would have had the actual the actual beard. Um, then I found out that the I don't know if you ever saw the movie um, Heaven is for, Heaven is for Real. I haven't seen and, that yet. Oh, okay. Well, that one there, um, they actually had a picture of this 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 girl. Um, actually had a vision of Jesus. And she actually drew a drew a picture of him, and a lot of people are saying that this is the actual picture of Jesus, and this has short short hair, so it kind of corresponds with um, what back in the old you know back in those times with you know you know Jews had had short hair. So would you think that the picture that we have now is not the actual pi- picture? Because he does have, because he does have long, long hair. All right. And it, it, it actually states it in the in the Bible too. All right. I will I will answer that. A couple of different uh, things I want to address there. Okay. First, first of all, I, I believe that Jesus is um, Jesus is completely human, but he's also completely God. I believe that Jesus. It is, you know, God wrapped in human flesh, okay? Yes. All right. With that in mind, the Bible says um, in, in uh, all the way back in Exodus, thou shalt have no other gods before me, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, thou shalt not bow down themself to them, nor serve them, um, and he goes on. I think that um, that when folks try to make statues, images of Jesus, and then they bow down and they worship him, uh, I don't think that that was what was designed. Um, you know, and now just a personal conviction. Um, uh, you know, and I'm I'm I, I don't preach this is something that uh, that folks had to do, but. You know, when the Passion of the Christ came out, and Jim Caviezel, I guess, played the the person of Christ, and and it was supposed to be a very realistic um, uh, depiction of what he went through on the cross. I wouldn't watch yep. it, and the reason why I wouldn't watch it is because I didn't want every time that I'm praying to Jesus, I didn't want Jim Caviezel's face to come up in my head, because right. Jesus doesn't look like Jim Caviezel. I don't know what Jesus looks like. Uh, I don't need to know what Jesus looked like. The Bible tells me not to make an image of what I think Jesus looks like. That's that's the first aspect of it. Now, was was he the skinny hippie that that um, people write the pictures of? No, he wasn't. There's a couple of reasons why. You were right. The the Jews didn't have the long hair. But there's something else, too. The Apostle Paul, in writing about how people ought to show up in church and uh, that there should be a difference between the way women show up and the way men show up, yeah. uh, in, in, uh, in 1 Corinthians um, chapter 11, the Bible says, um, Doth not nature itself teach that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Now, if Paul, I mean, that's a pretty, that's a pretty strong statement. Listen, you don't even have to be a Bible scholar to understand that women and men ought to be different and that men should not have long flowing hair. This is what the Apostle Paul said. Right. Now, if that's the case, then I don't believe Jesus had long flowing hair. Right. Um, so uh, that would be so the um, 
uh, again, I, ha I, I am a little bit familiar with the story of, um, of Heaven is for Real, and, and it intrigues me. And, uh, and I think it's possible uh, that these folks really saw uh, the real thing. I don't know. But, um, but the fact that uh, these kids are coming up with the image that Jesus had short hair is, makes it a little more credible to me. So I don't know if I've answered your question, but uh, yeah. Well, I know uh, one, one other thing is that with with that, are we going against God with having all these pictures of maybe a false God, like a like a like some that that we're saying is a picture of Jesus, and having that up and you know making necklaces out of it and stuff like that? Are we actually going against the word of the word of the word of God by doing, doing this? Uh, I think we are at least being distracted. Um, because, um, again, going back to the Old Testament, God doesn't want us making any image of anything that we think is um, having to do with the divine and then using that to focus us on worship. Now, if if and again, I think this is a personal preference thing, and I think this is between you and God. If you have an image of Christ uh, up in your house, and you're not praying to it, and you're not doing anything else, but it's just there to remind you, or if it's a, a good thing, okay, whatever. You know, that's that's between you and God. I won't do that, uh, just because that's not my comfort level, and that's not where I want my head to be. And I don't want, when I pray, I don't want in my head to think of some man's version of what Jesus looks like. And that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. Yes, it does. A lot. Um, but but I, I, I think that the Bible is open enough that that, that is something that, that is really between the believer and God. You know, there, I think there, there are folks that can that can uh, have a picture of Jesus up in their house, you know, Jesus in the praying hands, or Jesus uh, embracing the, you know, there are some touching pictures out there. Uh, yeah, Jesus, sure. and, and you know what? If that is a blessing to you, you're not praying to it, or you know, whatever, and, and, and between you and God, that's cool. You know what? I'm not going to preach against that. But I'm just telling you, for me, I tend to go away from that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, it does. Well, I, I appreciate okay. your question, though. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great night. God bless you. You too. Thank you.